What truly defines someone is human? Is consciousness just enough, or is it something more physical? It's a question that not even Soma can answer. Soma, a psychological horror game released in 2015 and developed by Frictional Games, is the prime example of how to build a universe around a character. The game follows Simon Jarrett, a man who the player is given little to no information on. All we know is that the game takes place in Canada, and he's going in for a brain scan after an accident. When the brain scan is complete, he gets mysteriously transported into an underwater research facility. As the players progress through the abandoned facility, the story starts to slowly unfold through exploration and audio logs called voice memos. You'll learn later that you are teleported a hundred years into the future on a research outpost called Pathos 2. However, throughout most of the game, you'll be left in the dark about how exactly you got there and who woke you up. And this is where Soma works at its best. The game only gives you as much information as Simon, being in a new environment and seeing technology that you're not familiar with. Since much of the facility is abandoned, there's really no one to answer questions. Well. At least no humans to answer those questions. What are you? Are you blind? It's me, Carl. Carl Semkin. Wrangler? Any of this sound familiar to you? I... no, actually. Much of the facility in Pathos 2 will be consisted of robots. Some able to talk and communicate with Simon, and others sorta of just exist. Towards the beginning of the game, Simon will meet a woman named Catherine, who Simon believes is a human, only to find out that Catherine is a voice and a human consciousness shoved into a robot, who is then shoved into a glorified door opener. However, what's strange about the robots is that some of them aren't aware that they're robots. Are you human? Shit, did, did my body give it away? I try hard saying a mystery. Yeah, I'm human. Are you? When Simon tries to explain that they're not human, they'll disregard what he says or just flat out not understand him. You'll explore a variety of research facilities, all without having very little interaction, besides the occasional conversations with Catherine. But you have a plethora of background information from voice memos or just visuals you see around each station that acts to tell a story. Now voice memos act like a human brain, but it records a snippet of the last memory before the brain was either destroyed or deactivated, having the majority of voice memos ending abruptly from something destroying their black box. Nanny Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. And this is another portion of Soma that really makes it stand out from your average horror game. Soma delves into profound psychological questions about consciousness, identity, and the nature of existence. The game challenges players to confront ethical dilemmas and grapple with choices made without consequence. The only consequence being able to live with the choices you made. A good example of this is given to Simon midway through the game. Up to this point, it's clear to Simon and the player that he's no longer human. The Simon that went in for the brain scan was certainly human, but the Simon who teleported a hundred years into the future was merely a human consciousness implanted into a dive suit and activated. In order to travel to a facility deeper within the ocean, Simon must once again transfer his mind into a dive suit. However, what Simon doesn't realize is that a mind transfer has significant consequences, and I find no better way to explain the process better than Catherine did. There must be something wrong. Can't you run a diagnosis or something? What was that? No, I it's just... Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. 
The mind transfer acts as a coin toss, where on one side you get to live on in the copied consciousness, while on the other side you get to remain in the old body, as the original of the copy. A later scene in the game goes through an outside perspective of what a copied consciousness is like. That wasn't so bad. This robot really got me worked up, bastard. What? What happened? Where did everyone go? Mr. Wan. Chun? What happened? I, I can't see anything. There's nothing here. It's okay. It's all a part of the scam. No, no, that's, that's a lie. You're lying. Okay, calm down, Mr. Wan. No, 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 no. Well, why, are you, why are you doing this to me? I trusted you, Chun. I trusted you! Did we just bring that guy to life? I mean, he's a perfect scan, meant for the Ark. He's the real deal. And we turned him off. Took it all away again. Basically, the mind is put on pause for a brief period of time, and when activated, the memory is reverted to when it was last activated. And from there, you can just keep activating it and deleting the simulation until you get the desired outcome. And this is where Soma brings up a very important and hard question. At what point do you stop being human? Does humanity stop when you no longer have a physical body? Or does it stop when your original consciousness dies? Does a copy of your consciousness even count as human? It's a concept that Soma perfectly crafts throughout the entire game, and creates an internal fear within the player's mind, all without a single horrific visual. While there are enemies within Soma that act as obstacles, blocking Simon's goal of saving humanity, the player's actions and mindset act more as the protagonist than anything Soma can throw at you. At the very end of the game, Simon and Catherine come up with a plan to put themselves onto the Ark so they can be launched into space and live on with humanity. However, the only way to do this is by copying their consciousness into the Ark. And instead of explaining what happens, I'm just going to let this last scene play out. I'm still here. I'm still here. Catherine? Catherine? I'm here. What the hell happened? What went wrong? Nothing. They're out there, among the stars. We're here. No. We were getting on the Ark. I saw it. It finished loading just before it launched. Yeah, I saw. Then why are we still here? Simon, I can't keep telling you how it works. You won't listen. You know why we're here. You were copied onto the Ark. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. We both did. Just like Simon and Omar Khan, just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. No, this is bullshit. We came all this way. We launched the Ark. I know it sucks, but our copies are up there. Catherine and Simon are both safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. Are you crazy? We're gonna die down here with those fuckers living at large on a spaceship. They're not us. They're not us. I'm sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survives, that something lives on. No, 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 no. Fuck this! Fuck! Fuck this! Fuck you! Fuck you, Catherine! You lied! And I believed in you! I trusted you! You said we're getting on the fucking Ark! We are on the Ark, you idiot! I didn't lie! I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance! You fucking fuck! Catherine? Please don't leave me alone. Catherine? Catherine?